welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd just do like a, a day in the life of vlog. I'm, I'm not sure what to call this or a daily one, one day vlog, <laughs> not a daily vlog. I don't know. I don't know what we're calling this, but I am getting out. Debbie and I are getting together and we're going to second and Charles today. Uh, she needed to get a gift card for her nephew for his birthday, so I'm going to ride with her. It's in, um, our closest one here in Louisiana is in Covington. So it's going to take us about an hour, hour and a half, depending on the traffic and whatever. Um, but anyway, I have some books here that I'm going to see if I can trade in for some other books. And um, I'll probably do a haul like at the end of this video and show y'all all what I got. Um, but I'll throw in some snippets here and there of our day. It'll be mostly driving and then once we get there and I'll kind of show y'all around the bookstore. But I'm, I'm excited, but I'm scared. But I have my, my hand sanitizer, I have my wipes, um, disinfectant wipes, and I have my mask. We should be good. We should be good. I'll let y'all know how it goes. Uh, we just got home. It's a little after 5.30. And I just thought I'd go ahead and film the haul, but then tell y'all a little bit about my day of course we wore our masks i'll insert a little picture here of us wearing our masks first we hit up dunkin donuts and got us some breakfast there of course we had to get some munch munchkins or whatever you call them those little bitty little bitty round donuts delicious we couldn't go inside we, we placed our order through the app we could have placed our order through the drive-thru but we went, we went ahead and we did the app and then went pick up our order through the drive-thru so that was really fun and then on to Second and Charles, I took just a little around the world picture or a little video here of me down one of the book aisles. It's so big in there. Um, there wasn't a lot of people. I just felt more secure wearing my mask just because I'm, I'm paranoid like that. But I, I could have stayed in there all day and just perused all the shelves. I still don't think, I probably left without getting something that was there that I should have picked up. But we'll get to that haul in just a minute. Uh, and then we went on to Target. I didn't really film anything there. It was sort of a, a quick little trip. And um, after we did that, we went on to Sarita's and ate some nachos. And we had bean dip and guacamole. And it was delicious. I haven't been out to a restaurant since my birthday, which was March 6th. And that was the last time um, I've been out to a restaurant to eat. There was hardly a lot of people there. Of course, we went kind of in between like lunch and dinner. It was basically a super early dinner. Uh, I think we were there around like 3.30, something like that. Maybe closer to 4 o'clock. I'm not sure. Um, but it was delicious. And we had such a good day. It was so much fun. Um, but I got home and I had a couple shipments come in. Not that no books. Um, but I thought I'd share it anyway and tell y'all a little bit about um, the wine service I use and whether I'm going to continue using it or not. And um, the self-tanning lotion or foam that I use every summer. I actually discovered this brand last year off of QVC and I fell in love with it. It formulates to the pH balance of your skin or some, some kind of craziness like that and it, it gives you the tan that you would naturally get if you naturally tanned. I've gone through so many self-tanner lotions, foams, oils, whatever, and I could never really find one that I actually was like, oh yes, I'm getting that again. Uh, but this time, last year, I found it. It's called Mind Tan. So uh, I got this off of QVC. It was $30 for this kit. Uh, last year was about the same, but I got the coconut this year. It has no smell. So if you um, if you order one without like saying that it has a scent, like this one's coconut, but uh, if you order it without a scent, uh, it, it smells like nothing. So there's no scent. But for 30 bucks, you get two of the tanning foams. You can leave it on for like three hours if you want. For one hour, this will be your tan, two hours and three hours. You can leave it on all day. I left it on all day and I never really got like super, super dark. This is a different one that I got from last year, so I'll let y'all know how it goes. But this little set came with the, with the mitt to tan and then also came with an exfoliator mitt. And then I got my wine in today. So I started the Wink 
wine subscription. Excuse my puzzle happening <laughs> over there. And I thought I'd try it just because um, I've always wanted to try like a wine service. So Michael and I both drink a good bit of wine. We both like red wine. So I thought this would be fun just to give it a try. It's $60 a month, but you can spend over $60. You don't, you know, it does, that's not like, it's not a $60 and then you get whatever wines you want. No, it doesn't work like that. You get $60 credit every month and then you buy whatever you want. And if you go over $60 and you pay the overage. I did go over about 30 bucks this month and um, because I, I decided to pick a more like expensive wine just to give it a try. I don't think we're gonna continue with the service. So a lot of the wines on the site are kind of sold out so you're limited to what you get to pick. And la like last month's picks, I didn't like anything at all. I mean, you can pick what you want. There is a test when you sign up for the subscription um, and, and it kind of gives you like, oh, I think we think you'll like these wines and they did a really good job I did that like the first month and then I wanted to try some some different ones But the second month I did crap at trying to pick which ones I wanted so I didn't like really any of them uh, This month, hopefully I chose some good ones. I got folly of the beast. This is a pinot noir So this is a red wine and then I wanted to I wanted a rosé because I like a rosé during the summer. So I got uh, this is loves me not. It's supposed to be a sweet wine. And then I got I don't even know what the, a a Syrah Syrah I don't know how you say it S Y R A H. I had one um I had one last month. It would and it was okay. So I decided to try another one. This was I believe the expensive one. I picked the more expensive one to see if it was a better taste than the one I got last month. So all the Cabernet Sauvignons were, are always gone. I never, I have not got a Cabernet Sauvignon yet. And that's like my favorite. So Michael went to the store yesterday. I asked him to pick me up a bottle of Cabernet because I was just really wanting a glass of Cabernet. And he did a very good job. This is, and I think it was inexpensive as well. I want to say it was around ten dollars for this bottle, but this is Robert Mondava or Mondeva. Not sure how you say it. Uh, this Cabernet, it's um, it's aged in a bourbon barrel, and Michael just thought that was like the best thing ever because he's a bourbon drinker, a whiskey drinker. Uh, so we tasted this last night, y'all. It is so good. I highly, if you're a red wine drinker, if you like Cabernet. Get, go out and get this one. It's inexpensive and it's very good. It almost has a buttery taste to it. You really can taste like the butteriness of like a bourbon. I'm not a whiskey drinker or whatever, bourbon drinker or whatever. I'll, I'll sip on it. I might shoot it every now and then. Let's not get crazy, but it just really brought out the flavor of this wine and I'm definitely gonna grab this again, but yeah. So I, that's why I think we're gonna go ahead and like cancel the subscription to the wine because it just, you know, it was fun for a little bit, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not like super impressed with it. So, um, but hopefully these are some good ones. Okay, so I poured me a little bitty taste of the Pinot Noir. So let's swirl it around the glass. So they say, uh, when you swirl your wine and if it sort of sticks to the side of the insides and it just starts to slowly go down um, The slower it goes down the better the more it sticks the better or something like that. So this one's doing pretty good. So Let's see Yes much better than what I chose last month. Okay, good. I feel better. I was kind of worried. All right, let's jump into the books. I did a little bit of damage over at Second and Charles, although I did pick up one book at Target. So I'll start off with that one first, and it's called The Last to Die by Kelly Garrett. Never heard of this author. Um, this was sort of a, a spontaneous, just like pig. Debbie found it amongst an array of books at Target and it kind of looked out of place and um, she handed it to me she's like this sounds really good so it says it all started out as a game just a way to have fun we figured as long as we had rules it wouldn't be a problem rule number one 
Only break into one another's houses. Rule number two, only take stuff that can be replaced. It worked out for a while. Whoever's turn it was to break in got a rush and the rest of us laughed over the trophies they brought back. But then someone went too far. Lives were ruined, someone is dead, and I might be next. It sounded fun, kinda, kinda weird, but how is breaking into people's houses fun? I don't know. But it just seemed like it would be a fun little short read. I don't know. I decided just to go ahead and get it on a whim. It was like $8. All right, then I ended up with five books from Second and Charles. So the first one I picked up, I went ahead and I got me a Karen Slaughter book. I do have a Karen Slaughter book. I have The Kept Woman. I'm just so terrified to, to read it. I haven't picked it up yet because I hear Karen Slaughter is pretty brutal. Um, but I hear so many good things about pretty girls. So it was $4.95, y'all. And look how nice. I mean, this is in really good shape. I just need to get the sticker off because we're not having that. And it's, well, it's just coming right off. There we go. So I got pretty girls. I heard good things about it. Jillian Flynn wrote a blurb. It says, Slaughter's eye for detail and truth is unmatched. I'd follow her anywhere. Sisters, strangers, survivors. It's been more than 20 years since Claire and Lydia last spoke. Claire is the glamorous trophy wife of an Atlanta millionaire. Lydia, a single mother, dating an ex-con, struggles to make ends meet, but neither has recovered from the disappearance of their sister Julia two decades earlier. And the shocking murder of Claire's husband brings the horror and heartbreak of the past roaring back into their lives. The vanishing of a teenage girl and the killing of a middle-aged man almost a quarter century apart. What could connect them? As they form a wary truce, their surviving sisters unearth the secrets that destroyed their family all those years ago and find the astonishing truth where they least expected it. I don't know. I hear good things. I hear if you're going to read a Karen Slaughter, this is the one to read. I don't know, but I also have The Kept Woman, but I've never really heard anything about it. But there she is, Karen Slaughter. One of these days, I'll be brave enough to read her. I also picked up Dry by Neil Schusterman and Jarrett and Jared Schusterman. So what I understand about this book is I think like it's based in Los Angeles and they're basically running out of water. They're going dry. It says on the cover, everyone's going to remember where they were when the taps went dry. The drought, or the tap out, as everyone calls it, has been going on for a while now. Everyone's life has become an endless list of don'ts. Don't water the lawn. Don't fill up your pool. Don't take long showers until the taps run dry. Suddenly, Elisa's quiet suburban street spirals into a war zone of desperation. Neighbors and families turning against one another in a hunt for water. When her parents don't return and she and her brother are threatened, Alyssa has to make impossible choices if she's going to survive. I probably won't read it anytime soon, but I do want to eventually get to it. Next, I picked up Don't You Cry by Mary Kabuka. Oh, the um, dry book was only $7.95 and it's a really good copy. Uh, and then this one, Don't You Cry by Mary Kabuka, is uh, was $6.50, also a very nice copy. I've never read a Mary Kabuka book. I know she has a recent one that's come out, like uh, The Other Misses or something like that. I do want to get that one. I heard really good things about that one. But I did hear, if you've never read her, that this was one to pick up. So I went ahead and I got it. It's a very long synopsis, so I won't um, read it, but it looks like... Uh, a girl goes missing and her friend goes out to look for her and then uh, there's this other guy who comes, up comes upon a beautiful stranger and he sort of gets obsessed with her. So I don't know where this is going. I don't know if that's like the same person that went missing or if maybe there are two people that look alike. I don't know what's, what the cover means here. But um, anyway, I heard this was just one of the one of her books to pick up if you've never read her so we'll see give it a whirl they have a lot of um book of the month books in second of charles that we discovered 
some very nice copies as well for really good prices. So I ran across two. One I've already read, but I don't have the book of the month copy. So, and I actually thought about getting the book of the month copy off of book of the month. But when I saw this one and it was cheaper, cheaper, I mean like any editions you get, of course, $9.99 for $9.99 uh, on book of the month. This was $6.50. This is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. This is one of my favorite reads of 2019. I absolutely loved it. I have pretty much almost the exact same copy, except the cover's a little bit more shiny, and the cover's actually torn on the bottom, and it was a brand new book. I bought it from Barnes & Noble's, and, but it was, it was torn on the, on the bottom a little bit, but I just went ahead and I got it. Uh, but when I saw this copy, at Second of Charles, I was for six six dollars and fifty cents. I had to get it, and it's it's a beautiful book of the month copy. This was book of the month in August of 2016, so it's got the little I love book of the month on the back. It's just a beautiful copy. Uh, this is definitely a little bit more matte than the copy I have. So um, so yeah, I just I had to get it, and then I found another pristine book of the month copy. This is Our Kind of Cruelty by Armenta Hall. I don't know if I'm saying that name correctly, so I apologize. This was book of the month in April of 2018. Let me see the sticker's covering it, so let's take that off. Yeah, April of 2018. This book was $6.25. Beautiful book of the month copy. It just kind of drew me in and I just figured, well, it's a beautiful book of the month copy. It's six dollars and twenty-five cents. Why not? It says, Mike Hayes fought his way out of a brutal childhood and into a quiet, if lonely, life before he met Verity. V was the first person to understand him, to love him. In return, Mike has dedicated his life to making her happy. He's secured the right job. He's found the perfect home. He sculpted himself into the physical ideal V has always wanted. He's ready to start their blissful life together. It doesn't matter that V hasn't been returning his emails or phone calls. It doesn't matter that she says she's marrying Angus. It's all just part of the secret game they used to play. As long as Mike watches V closely, he'll see the signs. If he keeps track of her every move, he'll know just when to come to her rescue. So it just sounded weird, a obsessed, obsessive kind of story, maybe a stalkerish kind of story. So it just sounded interesting, and I thought for six dollars and twenty-five cents, why not? So that is all the Second and Charles books that I got, plus the little Target fine right there. So it was just a really fun trip and I had such a good time just getting out and about and going to be able to peruse the bookstore and look at all the beautiful books and it was, I wanted more. When we got, when we were on our way home, I was like, I want more books. I wish we could go to Barnes and Nobles, but unfortunately we couldn't. <laughs> we found our way home. But yeah, it was a super fun day and I'm so excited that my wine is good this month. Hopefully the other two are are good as well. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna continue with the subscription. But if you're interested in it, I put I will put a link down below um, for if you want to go check out Wink for yourself. And I'll let y'all know about the self tanner if anybody's interested. Because uh, I, I I used just the regular one last year and I loved it. This one is has like a little coconut scent to it. I smelt it and it's not overpowering at all. Uh, but it does say. It does say dark, so we'll see how dark I get. I'm almost, my legs are almost iridescent. It's sad. It's like really pouring outside. The lighting is kind of crazy and bright in here because, um, because it's so dark outside and for some reason my lights seem like super, super bright in here. Uh, but anyway, okay, I'm gonna stop chit-chatting. Thank y'all so much for watching, as always. I'll have all these books down below if you're interested in checking any of them out for yourself, as well as all my social medias. If you wanna look into joining Book of the Month, I have that down, that link down there on the bottom as well. I'll put, like I said, I'll put the link down there. Everything will be down there in the description box. Whatever you're looking for, it'll be down there. Hope y'all are staying safe, staying happy, staying healthy. If you're getting out there in the world, stay safe. Hugs all around, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.